happy, happy. You know when George and Roseanne called me, Roseanne called me, they said this was not a shotgun wedding. <laughs> but I have been informed that it is very much a shotgun <laughs> wedding. The gun is here. Just hold on to it. And if you're going to shoot, yell first, I'll fall. <laughs> I want to welcome and thank all of you for coming today to support George and Roseanne. As they come to join their lives in marriage, we welcome those who join us by Skype. They want, we, they want you to remember to be happy, happy, happy as they begin their lives together. George and Roseanne. The covenant of marriage was established by God, who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee, and in his sacrificial love gave us the example of the love of a husband and a wife. Not, now you come to give yourselves to one another in, holy, in this holy covenant. I ask you now, in the presence of God, your family, and this gathering to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of Jesus Christ who calls you into union with himself as acknowledged by your baptism. Roseanne, will you have George to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Mm -hmm. George, will you have Roseanne to be your wife and to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her, keep her in sickness and in health, and in forsaking all others, be faithful to her, as long as you both shall live. To those of you who are gathered to witness this covenant, family and friends here in Pineville, you are already standing, and I will let you sit in just a moment. The marriage of George and Roseanne unites not only these two people, but their families, and creates a new family. George and Roseanne want to thank those of you who are here and those of you who are watching via Skype for your time and support of them and ask your blessing upon their marriage. They ask you that you love and support their life with your prayers and good wishes. I ask all of you now, do, as you represent the families and those that are friends, do you rejoice in their union and pray God's blessing upon this? And the response is, we do. We do. All right, the rest of you may sit down. <laughs> Let us pray. Father God Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, God of all people, you are the true light to everyone. You show us the way, the truth, and the life. You love us even when we are disobedient. You sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We rejoice in your life in the midst of our lives. We praise you for your presence with us, and especially in this act of the solemn covenant of holy matrimony through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. In 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 7, Paul tells the church in Corinth, I speak if I speak in tongues of men and angels, but I have not love, I am only a noisy bell or a clanging cymbal. If I have faith that can move mountains, but not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but I have not love, I gain nothing. George and Roseanne, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easy to anger, and it keeps no record of wrongdoings. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, 
and always perseveres. Love never fails. May God bless this union. George and Roseanne have written their own vows. And they are going to say them together. Holding hands, they're just going to speak to each other. You are my true counterpart, my soulmate and best friend. You are my inspiration and my soul fire. You are the magic of my days. You make me laugh. You make me teach me love. You accept me for who I am. You are so forgiving. You don't select the small stuff. You free me to sing my you are an amazing person. Each day I love you more. I am yours. You are mine. Of this we are the world. Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't hold both just in case he needed a shotgun. <laughs> we're, 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 we're not going to need <laughs> These rings are an outward sign, an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to us the union between us and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and He with His church. The rings are also an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all that the uniting of George and Roseanne in holy marriage is with God's covenant. the giving of these rings, that they may wear them and may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life through Jesus Christ our Savior. George, I want you to repeat after me. Roseanne. Yeah. Roseanne. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. With all that I am, with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. George, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. and Roseanne, you have declared your consent and the vows before God at this gathering. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Now that George and Roseanne have given themselves to each other by solemn vow and the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Lord, we ask a special blessing on these two and their family and friends as they celebrate with a float down Elk River. We pray that they will be happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Let us pray. Most gracious God, we give thanks for your tender love and making us a covenant people through our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ and for consecrating in his name the marriage of George and Roseanne. Grant that their love for each other may reflect the love of Christ for us and grow from strength to strength as they faithfully serve now in the world. Now may God the Father, God the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit bless and preserve and keep you now and forevermore. Amen. By the power vested in me, by the United Methodist Church, by God the Father Almighty, and by the State of Missouri, I pronounce you man and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Good. <laughs> well, give her a good smooch. Come on. Now you can get right. Close your eyes, Rachel. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay oh, Brianna. Keep looking. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> <laughs>